Good morning, everyone. It's Arvin. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, nobody asked, but we are putting together the guest bedroom today because my family is coming over for the holidays. I'm gonna be sharing my design process, a mistake I made early on and how I fixed it. And as always, in the end, it's gonna be a fun reveal. But first, let's make some coffee. I can't get the day started without it. Thanks to Lore Coffee for sponsoring this portion of this video. This is the Lore Barista System. It's a high pressure artisan coffee and espresso system. It allows you to create six different beverage sizes. The Lore Barista System uses 19 bars of pressure that gives you this silky crema on top that makes each sip super velvety. Crema is a sign of coffee quality. The Lore Barista system is unmistakably French. It's so chic in design. I love the black with this curved detail and their signature logo in gold. You can also notice that there's two spouts in gold, which I feel like is such a nice touch. It's compatible with Lore single serve coffee and espresso aluminum capsules. They're fully recyclable and it's also compatible with other aluminum espresso capsules. I've been making myself the Bonjour blend in light roast or sometimes the vanilla coffee. But what's really cool is the Lore Barista system is actually going to recognize whether you are doing an espresso capsule or a coffee capsule. So I'm gonna grab a vanilla one for myself. When you open this part, you can actually see you can make six different types of beverages. Small, medium, and large espresso, and of course, small, medium, or large coffee. Plop the capsule in. Ooh, you can really taste the complexity of the beans, the vanilla, it just, Oh, it smells so decadent, so rich, and... Oh, that's delicious. I think I'm gonna make Andrew a coffee as well. He usually likes espresso in the morning. Here you go, babe. Ooh. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, if you are feeling inspired, the Lore Barista System and the Lore Coffee and Espresso Capsules are available to purchase on Amazon. I will link it below. Thanks to Lore Coffee for sponsoring that part of my video. Now let's get back to my regular content. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the design process for the guest bedroom. I have my laptop here and I'm gonna show you the mood board. Now, a few things to note. We are working with a 10 by 10 bedroom. It's small. And also I want you to keep in mind the architecture of our home, which is mid-century. So I usually will start with the largest piece for the room first. In this case, it would have to be a bed. I went for something really simple. It has kind of a spindle leg, so it's going to go with that mid-century vibe. I went for a woven fabric to give it more of a luxurious feel. Even though this bed was super affordable, it was under $100, 100. It was under $1,000 for a queen bed, which I thought was such a good, price and we went for a queen bed because anything larger would really just make that guest bedroom feel a little bit small next let's go ahead and pick out a rug i'm gonna go for this one here this is a great classic rug i've used this in my office and i've used it in other spaces as well it's wool it's this really nice acre color, and it has kind of the black lines. So it's gonna add a little bit of print, a little bit of pattern for 
the guest bedroom. Now, I would usually go for a six by nine for a room that's a small size, like a 10 by 10. But in this case, since I'm gonna be on a, a tight budget, I'm actually gonna be using an eight by 10 rug that I already have on hand. Next, the nightstands. And this is where I made a mistake because I chose this kind of wooden base, kind of closed base construction. And these are like super mid-century. They're great. I would usually go for like this kind of style, but because the bedroom is so small, it's actually going to kind of not really have the best flow of traffic, especially this section here where you're going into the bathroom. Let me just show you the rest of the room before we fix everything. And coming up next, I went and chose this console table. Now, because the bedroom is small, I couldn't really find a dresser that was like, you know, a little bit on the smaller scale. And I needed these pieces super fast and Article had these available. So the console table still has cabinets and my guests and my parents can still kind of put their clothes inside. And pointing out another mistake here, the console and the dresser are like too matchy-matchy and you know how I feel about like matchy-matchy furniture. It's kind of like the easy way out. It's kind of boring, it's kind of blah, but we'll fix that in a little bit. The next thing I picked out was this mirror. Now, it kind of goes with the mid-century vibe. It's cool, it's nice. And it has this kind of leather detail. A mirror is just great for you know, a smaller space because it's gonna bounce light back and forth, which is great. And we're, we have a storyline here with the wood tones, which is like a nice walnut color. Up next, I went for affordable lamps for this guest bedroom because again, I needed something a little bit quicker. However, I will find vintage lamps in the future. You know, I'm not mad at these lamps, they're simple. They will go for now. Next, let me show you the bedding I chose, which is this fawn colored linen. It's kind of like a mauve tone. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. And then I went for chocolate colored pillows. Now, this looks fine, this looks great. However, I didn't really consider like the color palette of the room. The mood board has this nice creamy, um, background, which when you're looking at this photo, it looks great, it matches, but I kind of forgot that my walls are like really white, the ceiling is really white, and these tones I feel like just aren't going to match as nicely. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at mood board number two. Same exact bed, same exact rug, okay? But coming up next, I actually changed the nightstand into something that has an open base. Now, when you're designing a room, you want to think about diversifying the types of pieces that are going in there. If everything is a closed base, it's gonna feel small, it's gonna feel cramped, especially in a small room. So having an open base nightstand option is really great, and I still have kind of the wooden element on the bottom shelf. Next thing that I chose, same console table, okay, and then same mirror. And you can see here, there's a little bit more of a variety going on with this nightstand option. Now, because it's a circular nightstand, the flow of traffic is gonna be a little bit better, right? Because when you're going in and out of that bathroom, it's gonna be hard to do if it's like a solid square piece compared to this round one. And because we have that wooden shelf, we're creating continuity with the mirror and the console, but it doesn't feel kind of matchy-matchy. You bought the whole set, you know what I mean? And then another thing that I changed for mood board number two, if you can see here, I kept the affordable ceramic lamps, but I switched out the wicker shades this time it's more of a warm vintage color and it's going to add a little bit of depth to the room compared to the 
like pale wicker that has no personality. <laughs> the vintage shades I just got from a vintage mall and they were like $20 for the pair. I love finding vintage wicker shades. I'm actually collecting them for the house because I think it's so beautiful. Up next, let me show you the bedding and the new pillows. I went for this kind of grayish chocolate brown color and I'm gonna mix it with sand linen sheets to give some nice contrast. And I'm really loving the color palette here. I think it's a little more sophisticated than the first mood board. The first mood board really just, I felt like it was too pale, you know? It was too pale. It felt a little kind of young, if that makes sense. And I think this kind of moodier color feels a bit more sophisticated. It's gonna match kind of the cool white tones of our bedroom and I don't know, let me know what you think, if you like mood board number one or if you per prefer mood board number two. But let's go ahead and put the room together so I can show you the final design and how it looks like because I think you are gonna like it. Okay, here is the bedroom reveal in three, two, one. All right, come on in. Let me go ahead and show you the bedroom, you guys. I feel like it turned out super, super nice. I love all of the tones in here and the way the vintage wicker lamps just added a bit of patina because everything here is for the most part brand new. I wanted to add something old, something vintage. This is a piece that I painted. It's very simple, very minimal, but I thought for like my guests, I wanted them to just have like a very serene place for them to unwind at the end of the day. The bed you saw is just like so beautiful. If you come up close, you will see the most beautiful texture, a woven linen-like fabric. For under a thousand dollars, I feel like this bed is perfect for a small space. For the linens, this is my ride or die Target linens. The sand color is just so perfect and warm. The chocolate ones were a little bit more of an expensive um, piece, but I feel like the duvet cover is like one of my favorite things. I feel like it makes the biggest difference when I'm sleeping. So I wanted to splurge on this a little bit. The chocolate color is just so lovely. Oh, I forgot to mention this mattress we got is also really affordable. I will link it below. It's the same one we have in our primary bedroom and it's a great affordable mattress. It's memory foam. It's, it's very, very nice. This is, um, I just wanted to layer a throw over the bed just for some added texture. And then if you look at the rug, the rug again adds just a little bit more texture, something comfortable for them to land on. And actually the eight by 10 rug is not bad in this small space. It actually really grounds the guest bedroom. And then over here, I just added, this is, a vintage vessel. This is an antique marble tray that I've had. I felt like, you know, maybe my guests can put something a little in their watches. Jewelry. The console table is going to double as a dresser. I <laughs> still have my tags. These fuzzy slippers, my mom is going to love these, okay? And then over on this side, we have the mirror. It's actually quite nice. And then let me show you why the round nightstands is a better option. Ooh, it's a little dusty. <laughs> it's a better option as far as 
flow of traffic. So if you see, like going this way, it has a nice kind of mm, mm, and I can go right into the guest bathroom, which is right over here. The other nightstand option was just so bulky. We even tried it here in this space and it was so bulky and it was hard to kind of walk around it. So this round one is a good choice. Before I go, this candle smells so good, you guys, and stay tuned because this is actually a candle that I've been working on for the last few weeks. It's gonna release soon. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little guest room furnishing tutorial design process video and you got a peek into what I think about when I'm designing a space. And don't forget to check out all those links down below in the description box. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and I will actually watch this video next, don't go yet, and I will see you in that video. Bye everyone.